Right off Business 77 in Lyford is the newest and largest eight-liner operation in Willacy County. But unlike other game rooms, Buena Suerte gives back in an unusual way. If you come here and you lose money, you don't feel like you lost money. All you did is gave the money to charity. That charity fund is under the nonprofit group Buena Suerte Social Services in Raymondville. The organization helps low-income families pay for expenses like utilities, rent, and medical expenses. They're helping us with well, that's operation on Christ. We needed the assistance from um, Buena Suerte because my husband got uh, cut off in hours. The nonprofit was formed under the legal direction of Juan Guerra, Willacy County's former district attorney. He once sued 188 liners across two counties for theft, bribery, and fraud. The case eventually settled out of court. His unnamed plaintiffs in the case formed the nonprofit group that now operates the Buena Suerte game room. What's the difference between this arcade and the ones Juan Guerra sued? This place is going to be generating a profit of about forty to fifty thousand dollars a month. The difference is that that money is accounted for. It's not being put in some somebody's pocket. It's actually put in an account and it's given back to the people. It's illegal for eight liners to award anything over five dollars in value. In his former crusade, Juan Guerra once said it was impossible for an arcade to do business in the valley without violating Texas gambling laws. How then is Buena Suerte legally able to boast such large profits since Christmas without breaking laws? The only thing I'm telling you here is they're not doing anything different than what they're doing over there. He's referring to all the other eight-liners across Willacy County who've been able to operate without fear of prosecution by the current district attorney. Whether as minor of an offense or major as an offense, law enforcement is turning their nose, you're saying, essentially, to what's happening right here. Basically, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, I've been, that's the position I've had, and this is still the position I've, I am at. Bernard Ammerman did not return several calls Thursday afternoon for a comment on whether his office is turning a blind eye to possible illegal activity at game rooms. Juan believes Buena Suerte is protected from what he calls any sudden selective enforcement. If the district attorney decides that they're going to enforce this, uh, this particular uh, area of the law, and then, in my opinion, they need to warn our clients that starting as a certain day, they're going to enforce these laws, and in enforcing the laws, we'll decide whether or not we're going to close down, and my advice would be to close down. If judging by history, many believe Buena Suerte appears to be a safe bet, a win for those who need help. Well, the former DA says unlike other game rooms, Buena Suerte is safe with state-of-the-art security. He also claims the machines aren't rigged to rip people off. Tell me what you think about this so-called charitable eight-liner in Lyford. I'm on my Facebook page chatting with viewers right now to find me. Just search Ryan Wolf. I'm particularly interested to hear what you think about the former DA's involvement. I look forward to hearing from you.